Yeah, I think a speed bump is kind of the operative word here, Jackie. I mean, at the end of the day, this is called Operation Warp Speed. And I think when you start looking in that context, it's been warp speed for the economy. We've had lockdowns, uh, light lockdowns here in the U.S. We've had a resurgence of the virus here in the U.S. and Europe and abroad and everywhere else. But the one thing we've learned from this is we get past these lockdowns or these, you know, I guess these cases when they rise very quickly. I mean, we're at 100 million people in the U.S. that have been vaccinated. I thought that was a misprint mm. when I read it the other day. It's so many people. So even in Europe, we have a hiccup here with that AstraZeneca uh, vaccine. At some point, it probably is going to be resumed. And what it does, we have to remember, is Europe is benefiting from the reopening of the economy like everybody else. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of people are negative on Europe typically because, yes, the growth is slower. Um, they have more old school companies. But like just what Dennis Gartman just said, if inflation is going to continue to pick up here, old school cyclical companies are going to do better than tech companies. And Europe's got a lot of them. Yeah. So and also that. Yeah, it's incredible. And that one point nine trillion dollar stimulus package that benefits Europe, too, because Americans love to spend money. As soon as we get that check, we're going to buy things from abroad. Right. And Europe's going to benefit from that in a big way. Yeah. And I wasn't trying to be clever with the analogy, but, you know, we don't always go up in a straight line. Um, you know, it's a good um, a comparison that you made. You know, we will hit maybe more than one speed bump as, as we're in this recovery. Um, but the good news certainly will be when vaccine distribution is more pervasive.